What's going on? It's a beautiful day today. We are going to work on the NSX. Uh, the day before yesterday, I took the car for a drive and the clutch pedal went all the way to the ground. I was between Barstow and Baker and I had no water. Uh, I was thirsty. I was, it, it was a, it wasn't fun, but luckily, thankfully it was not summer. So it was nice and cool and only waited about 40 minutes, which is not that bad when you're waiting for a tow in the middle of nowhere. So we got the car back. Uh, we got it on a flap. It was AAA. Got it back in the garage. They dropped it right into the garage for me. Thanks to those guys. Made my life a lot easier. And I have it under the quick jacks. And um, yeah, so the slave cylinder disconnected from the fork. And I found that the master clutch cylinder um, is like leaking a little bit. It's like some seepage. So I think that, you know, let some pressure out and allowed the slave to disconnect from the fork. So I got the part in here. So I got this part from OEM Acura parts.com. I paid like $27 to overnight it and it's here. And I actually have another part over there uh, from another company, it's an Adler brand. But I decided afterwards to get an OEM. Well, not decided, but I, someone linked me to one that, would, that was in the States. Every, everything else was in Japan. So uh, thanks to, uh, I believe it was Jimmy that linked me here. Anyways, let's go to the garage and throw this bitch on. As you can see, we are already on quick jack, so what have I done so far? Seat has been pulled out because you're gonna uh, need to get in here. It's very tight and it's very dirty, very, very dirty. Uh, so I wanna give it a good vacuum. Uh, but there's something you gotta disconnect in here, I'll show you. I already got the old one off. I moved this thing right here out of the way kind of give me a little more clearance let me show you what i did to get that old one out some quick little little uh, tips so you're going to want to go ahead and remove that driver's seat before anything don't try to wiggle in there it, whether you're skinny whatever no just get it out of there four bolts one plug get it out of there it'll make your life a lot smoother when you get in there up above and i'll show you i'll try to show you but up above there's going to be two uh, two nuts to remove. They're going to be 12 millimeter. Get a long extension. Get all your extensions together and get in there. A, little, a swivel will help as well. Use a quarter inch drive. The skinnier, the better, so you can kind of get in there. There is a cotter pin that connects the master uh, to the to the pedal, to the clutch pedal. So remove, pop that cotter pin and then remove that pin uh, free from there. And that's it from the inside. The inside, that's it. Don't remove nothing else. Now let's go under the hood. So now we are under the hood. You're going to want to pop this cover off. That's going to be two bolts. I believe they're 12s. Ten, uh, no, 10s. Um, and then you're going to want to... So that's going to be the cover for this. You're going to want to remove this and move it out of the way. When you do that, you're going to get in there. Remove two 12 millimeter nuts. Okay, and then you're gonna wanna come over here and remove the brake line there. I'm sorry, the clutch uh, hydraulic line. And we're gonna wanna remove the nuts right there uh, on the firewall. You can see on a, kind of like on the above right over there. When you do that, then you can wiggle it out. That holds this bracket right here. And then once you do that, you just pop the whole thing off. And here it is. Before we proceed, let me show you uh, by the foot pedal assembly. I basically just told you two 12 millimeter nuts and a cotter pin, but let's see if I can actually show you how tight it is. You're gonna wanna get that seat off for sure. I've had this from Harbor Freight. It's broken, I taped it up because I just like it. I do recommend these lights a lot. I like them a lot. Um, uh, let me put this right here so I don't bang up. 
Okay. Okay, above that spring right there, you can see a hole. That's where um, your your cotter pin is gonna be. You remove the cotter pin and you pop out the pin. And then you can see, it's gonna be hard to see. You can see one hole there and the other one right there to the right of the spring. So one to the right of the spring, one to the left of the spring. So you're gonna want extensions on your 12 millimeter sockets for sure. And that's it for down here. All right, now I gotta find a way to get out of here. Real quick, when you do the one the, from under the hood or under the bonnet, whatever, a lot of people remove it from here, which leaves the line that goes from there, going in there, which gets in the way to get it out. It makes it very difficult. Just go ahead and remove it from there and then take the whole thing out. And we're gonna swap everything over to the new part. Okay, I transfer over the parts. So I'm going to start off first by guiding this into the car and starting with the hard part. So I'm gonna uh, start uh, putting it into here. And then I'm gonna reach in there. I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna start with the two nuts and the cotter pin. And then I'll move to the outside. Hopefully this goes smooth. I forgot to bring more brake fluid. Um, I have a little bit, but I don't think it's going to be enough to do the whole system, so we'll find out. <clears throat> Cut it through the hole, stick it in. Okay. One puto. Get in there. brake fluid is I'm going to go ahead and get this started the brake line it lined up nicely I'm going to get it started so when I push the nuts in um, it doesn't back out the cylinder doesn't come out Start it again. That's why you always start fingers first. Loosen that up. You do not want to cross thread any of this. I need to get a little step letter. Quick jack all the way up, so this thing is raised up kind of high. All right, this much better leverage. So get in there. Okay. Spinning nicely, so that's when you know you got your threads going properly. Okay, I got a finger tight. I will get back to that later. I did pop off this brake reservoir to give me more clearance. I'm gonna go under on my back, uh, but it's gonna be easy because my seat is out. 
and I'm going to first get those two uh, 12 mils in and then get the cotter pin in there. Let me show you the cotter pin um, and the 12 mils. So here is, well, here's the pin and the two 12 millimeter bolts and the cotter pins in the car, which I got to get. Um, but yeah, let's get these on. Okay, I got the two 12 mils bolts in there, which is easy, but this is kind of a pain in the ass getting access back there. So I'm going to try this magnet and see if I can kind of wiggle that in there. Um, this has been probably the hardest part. So let's uh, see if we can make it work. Okay, so that magnet trick didn't work. So you're gonna have to get in it with your fingers. Um, so it felt weird on the other side of it. So I went back and looked at the old one. And uh, the part with the head obviously goes in on this side so it doesn't twist and turn. Um, you kind of just feel for that with your fingers and then guide the pin through here. That'll come out this side and put in your cotta pins. So this side will be invisible. It'll be away from you. So I got the uh, the inside all done. So we're gonna work on the outside. I'm gonna start off by securing that uh, line, that hard line. Make sure it's nice and snug. And then we're gonna bolt this up and then the cover. And then finally we'll do the reservoir to the wall. Okay, the hard line down there secure. So I'm gonna go ahead and secure. I'm gonna give this a little wipe. Uh, one, two, three, and then one, two, and then this will be, and, and then we'll move on to this. We are put back together here. Uh, I need to go, I want to go to the store, get some fluid. Well, I want to go to AAA, get a moving permit. Then I want to get some brake fluid. I want to come back, uh, vacuum the seats, uh, add fluid, bleed it out and uh get it ready for smog once there's smog and it's good it's all gonna get detailed i'm gonna clean the heck out of this walmart is on the way so i think i want to go there and get my brake fluid so i am going to need one of these little uh infused chocolates to uh give me the patience to deal with walmart found a penny by the bolt hole for the seat from 1995. This penny belonged to the original owner of this 1995 NSX. So I just started her up, the clutch engages, goes through the gears. So I am going to let this warm up, let the air cups fill up because I'll need to uh, raise the car on the air cups to be able to slide those 
quick jacks out of the way because the car is really low. Then I'll take it to the driveway and I'm gonna give it a quick rinse in the front area just to kind of wash away any residue that may be in the area. I'll give it a good detail later. The goal right now is to go get it smog. washing off some of this uh, stuff. I'll give it a good detail later. I just want to wash the bulk of this clutch fluid from this area. All right, so she's feeling great. At first, there was a little slop on the clutch, but that filled up. So I just think, uh, um, you know, about a, about a mile and then start feeling like normal and it's got pressure from the very beginning. So that's perfect. At first, I had about an inch of slop. It's good now. Um, I forgot one something important, so I couldn't really rip very very much. So I gotta unbolt the seat, lift it up, and uh, put this back on. Uh, I didn't want to get in an accident without my seat belt. I was gonna I I, uh, I was gonna do the smog today, but it's about four, and just traffic, rush hour, and I don't want to deal with uh, a bunch of drivers on this car, especially if I have any any issues. I don't expect any, but you want to be ready, anyways. I hope you guys like the video. Um, you know, like the video, share, subscribe. If you find it helpful and entertaining or whatever, you know, just follow along. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, yeah, see you guys later.